Hey, what's up guys? Dan D from Music Marketing TV here, and this is a look at Piano Tech 4. One of the best software panels you'll ever hear, and that is not taxing on your hard drive space. It's perfect for laptop musicians who need the space but don't want to sacrifice on the quality. What makes this piano so unique is that it's based off the fourth generation physical modeling and uses no samples whatsoever. The physical modeling allows for smaller footprint on your hard drive, approximately 20 megabytes, <laughs> whereas the more popular titles have larger libraries that can reach up to 6 gigs. Because of no samples to load, this also results in quicker load times allowing for the user to quickly lay down ideas on the piano and remaining with the inspiration. A more realistic piano is achieved based off the generation of sound due to the characteristics of the piano which is subjected to the variations each time a note is struck rather than a sample which is a snapshot representation of the sound and never varies. The progressive variation in timbre and volume caused by the physical modeling reacting as a real piano and is the only piano software that truly uses all the 127 MIDI velocities. One of the most exciting things of the new version is the Grand Piano D4, which they spent the last three years referencing the Steinberg D. There also has been an addition of effects such as delay, chorus, flanger, amplifier, and compressor. A convolution reverb, keyboard calibration wizard, and a resizable interface are just a few of the newer things that you can find. However, the power still resides in the realism and the control you have over the parameters. Alright, so I'm going to play you a demo here of the parameters. I'm just going to play the uh, default song that comes up. Um, so yeah, let's see what we got here. First, we're going to start off with the D4. Um, we're on classical BA. Sounds good. Let's go to jazz. Let's go into some spacious stuff. Wow, that sounds nice. Alright, cool. Let's look at uh, let's look at all this stuff here. Tuning, voicing, and design. Making it a lot stronger. <laughs> Very cool. Right, so many things you can do to the D4 so you don't have to spend the money doing it. Let's go back to a natural sound again. Let's go to blues. Alright, so let me show you some effects here. Action. Back to normal. Let's try uh, something here. Player clean. So this is a player perspective. Let's go into mallet bounce. Turn it on. You can definitely hear that's going a whole bunch of times there. That's really cool. Equalizer. It's pretty simple. You just pretty much make your points and go ahead and make them. Just cut it off. So those are the few things that are on here. Of course, you have the effects such as the amplifier, right? Going into the compressor. Now this is in series, so you have to be careful of that when you're using this, right? You also have that reverb, that natural reverb. You also have, um, you know, the many things that were there before, the wah. 
got tremolo, chorus, flanger, delay, amplifier, compressor. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for Piano Tech 4. If you just want to play the piano and don't necessarily need to tweak the sounds, then Piano Tech Stage is more than sufficient. But for those who would like to experience all the power, I suggest going for the pro version. I'm Dan D from Music Marketing TV, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.